hey, we're still downstairs. And uh, this happened today, just a few minutes ago, actually. Um, the, we have a bunch of people over at the house for a cookout. And the youngest person who was there is the four-year-old that a baby said loves him a whole bunch. And I have hobbled in here to this window where I can see everybody out in the pool. As you can see, this is as close as I can get. So little guy is yelling my name. So I, of course, jump up as much as I can and scurry via scooter as fast as I can over to that window. And he's on the pool ladder and he goes, she's here and hide. And he jumps into the water and I'm just like, I'm sorry, was there a risk of me getting you? Hello, guess who got transferred back to her bedroom because there's floor repair getting done downstairs and I was in the way. <laughs> Nobody actually said that, but I know the truth. On a completely different note, some of us are not as adept at sports and sports knowledge as others, which leads us into today's story time. I used to work for a recreation center, and where they had like open gym, laser tag, roller skates, concession stand, and a bunch of rentals, and that was my main gig. But once upon a time, we had a firefighter basketball league come in, and for reasons I do not understand, I was going to be one of the pseudo-in-charge people during their game. I said this was a bad idea because I didn't know anything about basketball, never watched it, never played it. The only thing I know is the ball is orange. And pro tip, if someone ever tells you they don't know anything, take that to heart and don't use any fancy terms and go step by step with whatever you're trying to tell them. They don't know. It would have saved us a lot of problems. So I was put in charge of what they called the shot clock. I had no idea at the time what this was, but it's this little 30 second timer and I was in charge of resetting it when it needed to be reset, which according to them was every time the ball changed hands. That was the terminology they used. And I tried my best. I was diligent. I was watching that ball like it was my child. And I was hitting that reset as fast as I could. This upset everybody. They asked me what was up with the shot clock. I said I was trying my best, etc., etc. They said I was changing it too often. I didn't understand. It was then explained to me at last that changing hands doesn't literally mean from person to person like a different set of hands. Changing hands means different team. I didn't know! And for some reason, they were all befuddled and shocked that I didn't know that. Despite clearly expressing this from the beginning. I only had to do that once. Hi. So I'm going to talk about something. This isn't as one of my normal funny story times. This is kind of an epiphany sort of moment. Um, I we am planning on talking about some emotional things, so that might be triggering to some people. So here is your chance uh, to scroll if you're not in a safe enough space to deal with that. Hopefully I turned the fan down, that helps a little bit. But for those of you who don't know, I recently had surgery. I have a cast. Uh, my stitches come out next Tuesday. Today is Tuesday when I filmed this. And uh, despite having some pain pills, my foot hurts. I can feel the healing and it hurts. And that's when it kind of occurred to me that I'm also going through a little bit of emotional healing as well. I'm not trying to say that my situation is worse or better than yours. You know, hurting and healing are hurting and healing no matter what the situation. And seek help if you're in a very bad situation. Get help. It's okay to need help. But when you're in a dark place emotionally, uh, people always like to point out, and it's a very big and hard to do first step, very important, of uh, find the light at the end of the tunnel. But what often doesn't get talked about enough is that that's not enough. You have to hurt to heal. In order to get to that light, you have to force yourself to wade through the hurt that healing is. You 
have to force yourself to wade through the pain that is the rest of the darkness in that tunnel. You're going to have to confront past. You're going to have to uh, confront other people. You're going to have to let people go. You're going to have to um, accept that you're not accepted or accept that not everyone's going to understand or care. And you're going to have to deal with betrayal, which is what I'm currently dealing with, uh, specifically with my boss. Um, once upon a time, I thought we had a really good rapport, but when I needed to take time for me to get my surgery, um, he got mad at me. He was he was upset with me and got ticked off at me because I was choosing me and my health over working. And sometimes that's going to happen when you choose to go through that healing. Not everyone's going to be cool and supportive. And because of the unknowns of, you know, you don't know how other people are going to react and you might be worried about that or who you might have to confront, some people prefer to stay in that dark spot like myself because it's oddly comforting even though it hurts. It's worth it to get to the end of that tunnel. Go keep going. Hello. Welcome. Um, I know this video is late. This is going to be my empties, the things that I used up in June. And I do realize that it is the 11th when you're seeing this. Um, it is not the 11th when I'm filming this. And if you're wondering why I'm so behind with everything, it's because of this. I had surgery, for those of you who don't know. And I was downstairs. I'm not allowed to put any pressure on my foot or any weight on my foot whatsoever. I can't do stairs very easily. And um, I actually couldn't move for about three days. Um, I was supposed to keep it limited and just keep my foot elevated. Um, it's elevated right now, which I can show you. Hold on a second. I'm boring as F because um, actually things have been si simultaneously boring and chaotic at the same time because like I said we have the floors redone so we had to move all the furniture out I had to get moved upstairs we have so many extra guests right now that we had to move so much stuff out of the other rooms including all of my art supplies got moved to the attic so I don't have access to that because we had to make room for air mattresses and all that stuff um, also the kids have had my computer, it's been raining a lot lately, and the TV and computer downstairs are out of commission while the floors are getting redone, and we can't throw them in the pool or send them to the park when it's raining, so I've been letting them watch YouTube and play video games on my computer as, so they have something to do and not bore it out of their minds entirely. Um, I've been reading a lot of books, I finished the entire Janet Ivanovich series, the Stephanie Plum one's my favorite, and, um... <clears throat> I've also I'm in the currently reading Sally Thorne's um, The Hating Game. It's okay. I'm not loving it. I'm uh, not hating it. <laughs> I'm also planning on reading what is it? Jan Karen McManus's or McConus's, uh The Cousins and One of Us is Next. <sighs> Sorry, I'm a little out of breath. Um, I have I've been doing little workouts nothing major because I obviously can't stand on my other foot yeah I have on a cast for those of you who don't know you sorry for the up close of that it's just I don't have any other way to do that I have to keep it elevated most of the time uh, let's see uh, the one little girl got swimmers ear so we had to get drops for her and the drops went missing for a while and we went on a manhunt for those then the um both of the girls got burns on their fingers from trying to curl my hair because i am trying to entertain a little bit uh then my card got stolen my debit card got hacked into uh the bank was like i live in ohio and the bank was like did you make any purchases from a restaurant in california no no, I didn't. So that had to get canceled, frozen. I had to get apply for a new one, get into an appeals process to get the money back. It wasn't a lot of money that they took. Um, they made like a mini purchase, like the test purchase of $2 and something cents. And then they made a bigger purchase for 30 something dollars. 
So it was like, it was less than $35 altogether. Still, that's my $35. Thank you. Um, my boss has not called me at all. He didn't wish me well. He's just mad that I took off work that I put my health over work so I'm very hurt and betrayed by that and working through those feelings and I keep on thinking about when I go back to work how much that dynamic between us because we used to have a really good report and that dynamics definitely going to change after this um, it's gonna be awkward and I just need to stand my ground and he's vindictive so I think he's going to like just he's gonna try to do stuff as legally and subtly as he can but still he's gonna try to get to me um he's done it before to me and you know uh third time you just the, the, you know the first time something happens oh something happened the third time especially when it's something like this and he has shown that he does not actually care about me. He only He's one of those people that he was only liking me when I was doing stuff for him uh, for free. <laughs> um, like work stuff. And then when I started putting down boundaries and valuing myself. Well, he's one of those people who's toxic and doesn't like that. Uh, so that's a thing that I have to deal with. Um, yeah, I plan on being more exciting when I'm allowed to be. And I will, uh, so thank you for watching this part of the video. I know it's a lot, but it was just like, I'm just catching you up on the last uh, five days. So, you know, it, a minute a day isn't, uh, it's a sad when you can round up your whole day in one minute. <laughs> Bye. <laughs> <laughs>